Hello and welcome everyone to the Three Principles Global Community webinar. The Three Principles Global Community, or 3PGC, is a nonprofit organization that's committed to bringing an understanding of the three principles to people throughout the world. Today, we have Paul Locke with us, and Paul is going to talk about um, having a hidden talent um, and, and starting to paint. So when Paul isn't painting, he works as a coach, helping people to enjoy a more inspired, peaceful, and happy life. Paul also works for Beyond Recovery, delivering well-being and resilience programs within the criminal justice system. He trained with the One Thought Institute in London for a number of years, and before becoming a coach, had a successful career in sales. Paul lives with his wife, <clears throat> daughter, and cat, Bertie, in London, England. You can find out more about Paul's work at innate-thought.com, and I will post that as well as um, a couple of places where you can see Paul's artwork underneath the YouTube video when it's posted there. So thanks so much, Paul, for, for joining us today, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Um, this is a treat. I get to talk about um, one of my favorite things. Not my most favorite thing, <laughs> but one of my favorite things. Um, and what I thought I'd do was, um, I, I thought I'd, 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 I'd tell, a, I'll tell you a bit more of the story of how, of how, I, um, how I came to, came to paint because it's, it was a surprise to me and um, it's been real kind of a shadow to me what I've been learning about life and myself and the principles and 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 mixed in that are some great insights that i've had that have um that really helped me in life and um have helped me to continue to paint and discover that that i have a i have a talent for painting and um i think probably my so so let me so i i, I didn't start painting until five years ago and um in the last five years i've um I've now, I now take commissions. I, um, I've exhibited in galleries. I, um, I've, I've just been contacted by a, I mean, I'm not allowed to talk about this, but if I don't say any names and it's fine, I've just been contacted by a major television series to take part in one of their, in one of their programs. And all that has happened in the last five years from really um, stumbling across something that I didn't, I had no idea I could, I could, I could do. And I really had no idea um, in the sense that I, I hadn't, I hadn't been involved in, in art since I was a little boy, kind of like 12. And so, but it's interesting because I did know, but I'd forgotten. And coming across um, Sydney Banks kind of um, um, helped me to, to listen to the, to, the, to, the, to the quieter voices in me. And um, I, I was able to stumble across it. So I, my earliest memory of, of, of art was really when I was probably five or or six, I remember, I used to love tracing. And I was amazed that you could trace and you could trace an image and you could see what's in it, you could copy what something looked like. And I remember being blown away that one day I didn't use tracing paper and I was able to copy, copy an image and look at it and compare the two and go, wow, that, that's like, they're really quite, they're really quite similar. Um, and I always enjoyed drawing, but art for me at school was, was, the paint was rubbish. I didn't enjoy the teacher. A lot of it was around still life, painting apples and teapots, and it just didn't didn't do it for me. So I never, I, I put it to one side and never um, never thought any more about it. And then about five six years ago, um, somebody asked me. She said, um, "What would you really? What would you like to do?" And out of nowhere came, I, I, "I'd love to be an artist." And as it came out, I thought, well, where did that come from? Oh, I'd love to be an artist. I, mean, I was in sales at the time. Never, never, had never painted. Oh, I, I know what, I know why. So before that, where that came from, I do know where that came from slightly because um, I was in sales and I was a big, big, big drinker. Um, we used to go out a lot and wine and dine clients. And, and I stopped drinking for a while. And in that month of stopping drinking, I thought, I'll buy some paints and, and just try to paint. And I remember painting this, this image of Jessica, my daughter, and my wife came home and saw it. And she just, she just loved it. She, she had tears in her eyes. 
from seeing this painting. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that, that, that the painting had affected her, in, affected her in that way. So then rolling forward a couple of years, when somebody asked me that, I came, I, 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 I want to be, I, I'd be an artist. And with that, I went to, um, I went out and bought, bought more paints and all paints. And I, I love, I love faces. I love bodies. I love, I love capturing that. And so I, um, I learned how to, how to paint. And I just surprised myself. I surprised myself that I could actually create, create an image. I could, I could create a likeness of the sitter. I could create a likeness of the person that I was painting. And the feel, the feel of the paint, the feel of the paint on the canvas was just something else. It, would just, it, just, it just hit me. It hit me that, wow, this is, this is just incredible. And that was five years ago. And I've continued to, to paint to paint since but what is what but i don't think that without an understanding of the mind and out, uh, without an understanding of the principles i would have um one listen to that initial reaction of i'd be an artist because it sounded it sounded silly to me it sounded like um something that somebody else did it sounded something that 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 wasn't that wasn't for me i was never going to make any money out of it i was never going to do anything with it so it just it could have so easily had i not seen that actually we all have potential to do anything we want had i not seen that i wouldn't have listened to that and 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 taken up that thought and and tried it so that was the first thing really that um i took notice of the crazy thought i took no, notice of the crazy idea that um that might be something for me to for me to for me to try but of course whenever you you try something like that um it can be it can be a very frustrating thing um creating is um can be can be so disheartening um can be so annoying can be so frustrating <laughs> yet at the same time can be so exciting and um had I not, along with my painting, been, been gaining a deeper understanding of the principles and where my feelings come from, I don't think I'd have, I'd have continued because there's been so many times where I put paint to canvas and criticise myself and criticise it and think it's rubbish and, 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 and don't like it, that I probably would have given up and gone, you see, I, I, I was right. You know, and then it would have been the next thing. You followed that crazy thought, Paul. You know, you followed that, that idea. And you knew, really, you were never going to be an artist. And look, it's rubbish. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, there you go. I, I, pro I proved myself right. But because I didn't have that, because I had no... I took it in, took it in its stride. And, and, at, and at times, as I continued to, continue to paint, that kind of became more volatile. Because you know you you then you paint something and people say oh, that's really good that's really good and then you think wow i i can't, I can't believe i painted that. that that's that's incredible and then you have expectation you have expectation of what you want to create and what you think it should look like so you you end up actually kind of right you know self-inflicting more kind of turmoil in you because then you have all this expectation and again had i not known that that was self-creating and that I'm generating that and that I need have to do that. And that's coming, my, my dissatisfaction is coming from um, an idea, an ideal of what it should look like. Then again, I'd have been, I'd have been put off and, and, um, and probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have picked up a paintbrush. So I, I can't believe how, such a small these small insights have given me the ability to continue to paint and to explore the creativity which we all have because it's not it's like um it's a funny thing when you're in a, when you're doing something creative like that because it really shows you it really snaps back at you how the only thing in our way is ourselves is the only thing in our way for me is me so the only thing between, between me and creating a painting is me. Yeah, yeah, I'm the person that's got to create the painting, you know? I'm the person that's got to, that wants to create. Yet depending on where I'm at and what's going through my mind, that can act as a, as a block, as a block to what I can, 
put on a canvas it's a, it's amazing and it's a it's a kind of like a reality snapping back at you because you get to see it in real time you get to see your state in a real time you get to see what you create in real time whereas in many different areas of a life we don't get that immediate feedback but what it showed me was that so to begin with i thought that um so this great feeling that i had when i was painting i would put down to the fact of you know i loved holding the brush and, and i love putting the paint on the canvas and don't get me wrong i do i mean it's just it's amazing and i love it but i thought that that was then to do with the painting and one day I, I was i was still in sales and and it just dawned on me i was like wow that this is wow so what i'm experiencing here is exactly the same as i can experience in a boardroom it's exactly what i can experience anywhere in my life because that feeling is coming from in me it's not coming from the canvas and i know that because on bad, day, on bad days, I'm not experiencing the same joy I have when I'm painting. But that was eye-opening for me. The fact that I realized that I could have that freedom of mind and that feeling of being completely um, out of myself anywhere in any place. And I began to see in actual fact that's very normal. In fact, that's something that we, we, all, we all do every day. We all are in creative states in and out of them all the time it's not specifically to do with art or music or poetry it's just that those endeavors they give us an immediate reflection and an immediate bounce back to something we've created but what i've learned is is that those states where i paint where i lose myself they're the same places that I find myself in when I'm sitting talking to Emma with my wife or I'm with family or whether I'm in a, in a business meeting or whether I'm walking in the park or whether I'm friends. There's so many different times in my life where I lose myself like I do when I'm painting. It's just that with those instances, we have memories. You know, they're not always captured. But the beauty of, of, of creating in, in the sense of creating a piece of art is that you have something to show for it. You have something to show for, for, for that creative space. But I want to come back to that, that creative space because it, it can almost sound like there's a space to create from and there's a space to not create. And what I found is that that's not true. That is in, that's made up too, because I would sit, and wait for the inspiration and the, and the creativeness and for me to feel creative to paint. And sometimes I'd wait um, three or four weeks before I paint until I realized that that was in another illusion. That was another illusion that I was creating, that there was in, there was in fact a place to be in to paint. It's not true. It's not true. We, we, we're in that place all the time. It's just whether we're in our, in our way or not. And there's been many times where I felt like I'm in my, I'm in my way and I painted a painting and then I think, oh, I'm going to throw that away and I leave it. And then I look back at it in six months time and I think, wow, I actually like that now. So it goes to show that there's no hard and fast rule with creativity. With creativity. It just is. And I love something I saw. Um, I love music. I love the Stones. And um, I saw a video of Keith Richards, who's one of the, he's the guitar player, and the main guitar player, and some one of the songwriters in the Stones. And I saw it, and I heard a I saw a video of him talking about songwriting, and it was just it was brilliant. He said he said music is is all around us. It's music is floating around us all the time, and you could create, you could change music with creativity. You could create, you could change the word to life. You could change it to the word mind. You could change it to anything. You know, it's it's around us all the time. And he was talking about him being a conduit. That if he's lucky, you know, he tunes into that and, and, and that flows through and he, he becomes a conduit and writes a song. And I can so relate to that because it's not that we are not, we aren't creative. We are, we are consistent. We are, we are 100% creativity. That is, that is at our core. That's who we are. It's just whether we um, can see past our own limitations by what we think we can or we can't do. It's incredible. It's incredible that 
how how easy it is for us to do something and then belittle it have a negative reaction to it rather than see it for what it is and then express it i've noticed that some of my some of my best work is 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 work that um has taken it is taken a very short amount of time to do it's been it's been so fluid and then i look at it and it's almost like i think nothing of it because it's been so easy to do and then somebody looks at it and goes wow that's amazing that i love that i love that and it's and that brings me to another point it's almost like um we think something has to be hard work you know we have to put a lot of work in for it to be to be worthy of something and um it's not like that it, it's um it's so easy it's so easy to create you know it, it, it's it's within us we are it it's flowing through us all the time and you don't even like I say you don't you don't even have to be in a creative pursuit to be creative that's the nature of 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 life that's the nature of of us it's the nature of nature nature is creative yeah. and when we allow ourselves that creativity can bring us answers, but it, you know, I, I, it brings us answers in, in, in creating artwork, but it also brings us answers in, in the rest of our lives. I toiled with, one of the things I love is portraiture, but I, I, I always felt constrained. While I love, it's a funny thing, you know, while I love faces, I always felt constrained of trying to capture that on canvas because you've got to follow a, you've got to follow a form. <laughs> Got to, you've got to follow a form of the person to get a likeness which i like to get it, 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 it I, I get a buzz when i start to see the person that i'm painting start to emerge on the canvas and and i love that but at the same time it, that is for me is, in, is incredibly limiting so i always wanted to to be able to do a portrait that was that was captured the energy, captured the essence of life and the energy of us and the sitter and me, but without, but, but also create a likeness. And it, and it just, that just seemed like something that, that was impossible, right? How do you, how do you, <laughs> how do you, how do you capture the essence, the, the nothingness, the, 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 the energy of somebody, but still create a form? But it, it came to me one day of how to do it. And there's some paintings on my website, if you have a look at them under the portraits and you'll, you, the, the abstract portraits and you'll see them there. I, I, did, I, I, I feel that I've been able to, to capture that because the people who know those people know who they are. But that's like us, isn't it? You know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. That, that's almost like it's a metaphor for, for human beings. It's a metaphor for who we are, that we are that you know, that creative energy, we are that, that nothingness, we are that kind of, um, you know, that energy that has no form, yet we are form. And it's beautiful that, 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 that energy can create that form. And when you capture that in a painting, that blows, that blows me away, it, blow, it blows me away. It, 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 it blows me away, you know, and I think, What I love, the best thing, the best thing I love about coming across my love of my love of art and love of painting is are those times where you paint with a knife or a brush and you lose you lose sense of, of yourself, time. Um, you don't know really how you mix in the colours. You're not actively choosing a red or a blue and mixing. You're putting the paint on the knife in a way that you, you, you're not really aware of, or the brush, and you don't really know how long that's lasting for. You don't know how long you've been painting. And then at some point, it's almost like you wake up and you come back down to earth and you look at what you're doing, and you don't know you've done it. 
and you look at it and it's almost like you look at it as an outsider. You, you look at the work as though somebody else has created it. That's the most magical thing. And, and, and I feel so lucky, so lucky to have, have stumbled across this, the, this, the, 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 the ability to paint, well, not even the ability to the paint, stumbled across my love of painting to experience and to see that and to then to be able to recognize that and how that plays out in all different areas of my life it's a wonderful thing it's so cool it's so cool um yeah so has anybody has anybody got any questions before i ramble on more about my love of painting <laughs> Has anybody, has anything I've said struck a chord or can you relate to any of it? Hiya, Paul, it's James. Hi, James. Hiya. Um, I, can, I can definitely relate to, to what you're saying. Um, before I've got into the principles, and that's only recently within the last couple of months, last year, um, I was out with my niece just in her garden and just it hit me just this massive inspiration to write a kid's book about what she was doing um and at the time i was just not i was in just a bit of like anxious place bit anxiety and stuff and and it just came out of nowhere and i saw i thought oh that's such a good idea and i had this massive idea for just a rhyming kids book um and i've I've put it all together and sent it off to a couple of agents but nothing kind of serious and similar in the sense that i just sort of put it to one side and thought it's not going to go anywhere you know, that sort of thing. Um, wasn't, wasn't meant to be. It was a crazy wasn't thought. Wasn't meant to be. Yeah, crazy thought. It's, you know, it's a book. It's not, it's not going to go anywhere. I've written it. But then, you know, this, getting this more of an understanding of the principles and, and then looking back and thinking, crikey, that, that, came, that came from me. That, that just, whoa, out of nowhere. I've never written a book before, but it just hit me. And it makes me now want to revisit it and say, it doesn't, matter what i think about where it's going i want to i want to do it i want to put it out there and let's let's see where it goes let's not worry about where it's going to um and the only thing you know you said the only thing that was that's stopping me is is that that other part of me that, that's saying oh, no, what are you doing yeah what are you doing like, what, yeah what happened to that you know like when we were kids yeah. it was like, you, you, we didn't have to have have, like stage two didn't didn't appear for us did it like with yeah. my daughter jessica she's nine if she wants to paint or draw or color in even you know coloring yeah. in it's a brilliant one isn't it like it's already yeah. been for you <laughs> but you're coloring in she yeah. does it she, she just she just loves it she's not doing it because she's gonna sell it because she's just doing it mm. yeah and, and i think you know it's that thing isn't it we, we can do that too mm. yeah yeah we can you get into the, the right frame, you just think it doesn't matter. That's what I want to do. I'm going to do it. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. yeah. See where you're coming from with it. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks. What a wonderful thing. And I think, you know, like with that, there's so much learning in that. There's so, mm. so much learning in that. I mean, this is, this is a wonderful opportunity for me to talk about painting and art because it's kind of really been something that has, that has followed my, my kind of understanding and my, my you know, all the way along of, of, of understanding more about thought and consciousness and, and, and who we are. It's been an amazing kind of a com accompaniment to, to that. Um, Cause it's, like I say, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, you, we get, it's almost like it's a, it's a real live um, example of what we face as human beings the turmoil we face and 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 it almost forces us to keep getting over ourselves yeah you know, once yeah. you see that um there's nothing stopping you you know that you're just then then left with yourself and having to get over yourself <laughs> <laughs> you know that's all it is it's like get over myself again get over i'm about to tell you james like at, at times like wow Talk about like um, frustration and 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 upset and and like because it's not going my way and and Emma will know oh, no I'll keep out of his way you know <laughs> and it's, it feels like there's there's a lot of turmoil in that for me at times 
And I remember a quote, I can't remember, there's like a, 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 one of the masters, one of the great masters, uh, he said something like, um, what did he say? He said, creativity is, is um, I don't know, something like, like creativity is hard work. Cre- creativity um, takes a lot, lot of effort. Well, you see, it, 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 oh, no, that's it. Creativity takes courage. Now, if you, don't, yeah. if you don't understand about the mind and thought, then it does take a lot of courage, doesn't it? Because it takes a lot yeah. of courage to, to almost, you know, to fight your emotions, you know? Some of those yeah. emotions that I have when I'm creating, they're strong. You know, they're, they're, the, they're like the emotions that I have in the rest of my life and that I've had in the rest of my life, but they're strong. And, and if you didn't know any better, you'd think it takes courage to, to, to fight those, to get over them. But what I found is with a simple understanding of, of, of the mind, it's like, well, there's nothing to get over. Mm. <laughs> like, like, what, why would I not? Why would I not paint? Because, because there's just nothing to get over. It's just me having a moment, having, having that time where I'm not with it, and then I'll be with it, and then I might have a different view on it. You know? It's amazing. It's amazing the simplicity that, that that's offered me to be able to create and to, to keep, keep doing that and not caring about how I, how I feel. Yeah, I do care, but I, yeah, I don't. So I'm okay <laughs> to keep putting myself through it. So, you know, it would be courage if you didn't know any better, yeah. um, which is wonderful, which is wonderful because then it allows us to, to really keep exploring. And I found the more I explore in that creativity in front of a canvas, the more I've learned about life and about the two, the two bounce between the two. And, and I said to somebody the other day that, yeah, I know, I know for a fact that if I didn't pick up a paintbrush for six months, but I continue to get a deeper understanding of, of what it is to be human my painting would evolve i would evolve as a painter without even touching a paintbrush because and you would be the same with writing yeah. because it's almost like the more comfortable i get being me the more comfortable i am having this human experience as paul the more able I am to create because the more comfortable I am experiencing life and therefore I'm not thrown around in front of the canvas or wanting to screw the canvas up as much as I, as I, as I, as I would or belittling myself that it's not very good. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It really is. It really is. And you begin to realize when you start to hear, you know, I read quotes of, of musicians and poets and writers and artists, and you start to, you hear, you hear that, that they know, that they know too, which is why they're great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they, they know intuitively about the principles in many ways, because that's what's enabled them to unleash their, creativity on the world without getting in their own way you know yeah. because it is only us in our way because because like you know creativity is there within all of us it's just there it's that, you know it, it, so everybody is creative and um and the beautiful thing with writing and well kind of anything really i mean the violin takes it a little bit because you <laughs> you've got to learn a lot of technique to be to play the violin but like with a paintbrush or or writing you've learned the english language you learn to read and write you can hold a pen like i mean i can hold i've got the motor skill to be able to hold a paintbrush i've got coordination and the sight yeah and, and so really you're off yeah. <laughs> you know away you go away you go because <laughs> like you know the only thing then is is learning a few techniques a few things you need to know mm-hmm. but apart from that um, the only thing that's ever going to be in your way of creating is yourself. 
and and that in itself is a wonderful metaphor for for life i found that so helpful in in sales in um in working with clients that um it's true everywhere it's true it all comes down to the how much <laughs> i'm in my way and when i say in my way it's all that stuff that's going on of whether i can or i can't or whether i want to or whether i don't want to is it any good or is it not you know stage two you know stage two yeah. <laughs> you know stage two we need to go to stage two yeah yeah i think i think for me the most the um it's those distractions it's like right i'm gonna make it home i'm gonna do it um, but then, you know, still work, still work full time. And, and then that suddenly becomes a distraction. And then before you know it, you're in bed and like, oh, I've not done it again. Kind of at that stage. But, you know, watching, you know, watching stuff like this, stuff like yourself, just think, oh, just get on and do it. Yeah. You know, it's like you say, you, you just, you don't know where it's going to take you. And I, I would imagine when you, you started it, you didn't think it was, you were going to be where where it's put you now um, i can't believe it i, I can't believe it i, yeah. I mean I, I mean i can believe i can believe it because i think some of the work i create is good so don't get me wrong i, I can believe why some people do pay me to commission me but i can't <laughs> i can't i can't believe that you're right that from that from that what seemed a crazy thought five years just five years on yeah I've I've got I've got the the artwork that I have on my website and I've and I've created some of the stuff I have. I, I you're right. I can't I can't believe it and and it's it's amazing. It's a, it's a, and I, and I think we all have those things, don't we? We all have those little thoughts that yeah. we just don't take seriously. Whether it's gardening, I don't know, you know, creating a film, you know, writing a poem or or whatever it is, or creating a business, starting a business, or, you know, whatever it is, we all have those little, those little glimmers. And it's just so easy to, to dismiss them as, as childish or yeah. that on there, you know, what's the point in doing that? And, 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 yeah. Because uh, yeah, you can, you, you can so probably, you probably you look back you know once you, you start to understand you you look back at those flashes of inspirations and those ones that you think god yeah that would have been a really good idea if only had yeah if only had that understanding back then the stuff that you think yeah and so i guess you know yourself when you got that you just got on and did it yeah. um yeah it's crazy what you, you think you've you've missed just because you, you brushed it off isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then of course, when you start to see that, the beautiful thing with that is it, it opens up all the other areas of your life where you have those little glimmers there, you, where you dismiss them because then you start to, you start to switch onto it and think, oh, hang on a minute, there might be something, there might be, there might be something in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there might be something yeah. in these little voices that are, you know, guiding me. Yeah, spend a bit more time with that. Let's just see. Yeah. 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 And who cares why? Mm. You know, who cares why? Yeah. Yeah. I think partly for me as well, up until recently, you know, I was almost like, um, if I'm honest, I was a little bit scared of of creating. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but I'll say it anyway, just in case there's anybody ever going to listen to this that can relate to it. <laughs> Even if it's one person, <laughs> it's worth it. Is that like, so I, I used to, I used to play, I, when, I, when I left school, I used to play in bands and I used to love music, but it never really worked out. Mm. Um, so there you go. Something I loved didn't, didn't, didn't work out and I was quite passionate about it. And then I got this, I got a sense with, with painting that on, you know, the first, I remember the first time I, I held the brush and put the paint on the brush. I was like, I, I was like, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I love this. <laughs> I love this. And I, and I continued to do it, but there was part of, part, part of me 
didn't really want to throw myself in and experience it as much as I might because I might show myself something that I can't have or I might get hurt by not being able to do it. Stage two. Yeah. Yeah. Stage two, because I'd have to do other things. It was almost like a relationship, you know, when you've been hurt before Mm. and you, you hold yourself in a way then with future relationships that you don't want to get hurt. So you don't, you don't throw yourself all in, you know, you, you, you keep a bit of yourself back because yeah. you don't want to get hurt in the, in, in the, in the, in the same way. And for me, it was a little bit like that with painting until really the beginning of this year. And in the beginning of this year, it was almost like the floodgates opened and I just thought, what the heck, you know, I'm, what, what am I doing? And, and it was so subtle because I didn't really know that's what I was doing, but there was, and the difference Oh, like, it's like, wow, it's like, it matters not how I feel. I've got a painting on the go because I just, I just, I, I'm just loving that. That experience of painting, whatever it is, good or bad, I just see that now I'm just in it and I'm learning in it and it's, it's full. And it's almost like I had to, I, I jumped over that step of feeling, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, don't want to love this too much. <laughs> I don't want to love it too much because I won't be able to do it all the time. Isn't that funny? That I, had that in me. I remember typing the first, the first part of the book and then, and putting it together and then almost for some stupid reason, just building up the courage to my wife just to say, I'll just have a look. But you do, you just like, Oh, do you want to just, do you want to just have a read of that? Just to see what you think. <laughs> you just like you just you build up that that fear thing of yeah. she's probably not gonna like it yeah. you want to send it to my mum as well she'll yeah. she'll probably like it and yeah you do and then, and then and then what i learned from that was which is brilliant is what i began to see is that i can be really comfortable and confident in what i create How do I how do I say how do I say this? Because it has to be good. It has to be good because it's flowing through me. It's it's flowing through me, so it has to be good because it is good. Creativity, mm. life is good. Life is brilliant. It's beautiful, and if it's flowing through me and it's created through me, then it then it has to be good. And so that, that's given me. It's kind of given me this. It's helped help to for me to see again at a level, a, di- a deeper level, that, 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 that there's this perfection behind us. Mm. Yeah, it, it is personal because it's me doing it, but it's also very impersonal that it's not me. So that confidence grow has grown in me to be like, no, this is this is this is what I've created, this is what it looks like, and that's it. Yeah, it was three years ago. I, there were so many paintings I did that I wouldn't put out there on Instagram or Facebook. But now I look back at them and I just keep throwing them out there. <laughs> and some of the ones I thought were rubbish, people are saying, oh, I love that one. I love that one. Yeah. And what that's done for me, it's given me so much more confidence in me as a person. Because it's shown me that I have that connection to creativity, to life, mm. to mind, to... To the essence of who we all are and we all have that as so that's why i say that you know the, the, a creative pursuit for me has been incredibly incredibly helpful in for me as a person living living a life in every area of my life um because we get to learn those things yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, which are so helpful so helpful so helpful um yeah
I ran a um I ran a group in 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 one of the prisons in a principles based group in one of the prisons in 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 the UK last last week I think it was yeah it was last week with um with Jacqueline Jacqueline Hollows and, and Beyond Recovery and um it just came to mind then in that in that real nice silence one of the one of the guys asked um because we were talking about the simplicity you know the simplicity of the principles the simplicity of being human and one of them asked um for me to just elaborate a little bit more and it stayed with me and it was it was just as simple as that life is simple because if you if you really it's just now like it's, it's this moment life is just this moment and how we feel in it that's it that's all life is it's no more complicated there's nothing more to it life is just now we're all having an experience of life in this moment and we feel it in this moment and when you start to see that simply you can write you can paint you can go to work it doesn't matter kind of what you're doing it just is it just is this moment the simplicity of just this moment and how you experience it and you're experiencing this moment and that's it that's life that is it there's nothing else there can't be anything else no and with that is an incredible amount of freedom to To live each moment how we want to live it whatever we're doing whatever we're doing yeah it doesn't matter where you are at all i mean last last year star last year i was just like fed up my job bored of this i'm gonna go and do something else um got stuck in a bit of a rut with it and but didn't know what what i wanted to do because i think i was just so caught up in just hating the job but now you know just like you say just get up and just get on with it just made the most of it it's just it's just a job at the minute there's plenty of other things that come to me and i think well you know i've i'm enjoying this i'm enjoying that um, and I think I said to myself the other day, what, what don't you like about your job? And on a moment to moment basis, nothing. It's all an experience. Um, it's like going back to stage, stage two again, doesn't it? You get, yeah. You get caught into stage two. Yeah. And whether it's, it, for me more, it's, it's now, it's now more, well, let's, let's wait and let's see what happens next. Let's not start jumping at the bit and jumping ship and maybe jumping into somewhere else just because you, your mind says, oh, you, you've had enough. Let's, let's see where this is taking us. Let's see what's happening now. Oh, yeah, it's given me a whole different learning, a whole different way to look at it from, from what you've just said then. It's, yeah, it's so right. Nice. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that simply. Mm. And what's beautiful is when you see people in the inner situation and you know, when they're incarcerated mm. in that way. You know. And when you see that glint, that glimmer in somebody's eyes that they see that too, you think, well that that's that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible, because it really is just this moment. I think when you realise it yourself and you do look at other people that are that are doing the job or doing the same job and they're like, oh, fed up a bit. Um, and you kind of see, God, that was me. 
<laughs> that was me. And, and look at me now and nothing's changed, you know. It's the same place, it's the same environment. Yeah. And yeah, get, getting the understanding, it, it's nothing has changed. But for some reason, it's yeah. well, it has. Yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing. nothing crackers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, nothing changes, but yeah, everything changes. It's yeah, it's in, it's, in, it's mm. incredible. And it's still yeah, it still kind of changes back for me a bit. I think at the moment there are still times when I go back to I think you said like the stage two and get caught up in it all again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then sometimes I think, oh god, we're back here again. Yeah. Um, but it's one thing seeing it stage two and you doing it. Isn't yeah. it? That's, that's a different thing to yeah. seeing stage two and that they're doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. the world's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> At least when it's stage two, knowing that you're doing it, it it's, um, it's a whole different ball game, isn't it? Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, which is such a cool thing. Such a mm. cool thing. Yeah. Because then you get to, you know, it, it, come bringing it back to creativity. When you're having those days where it looks rubbish. Sure. You, know, <laughs> you, you kind of take into a little bit more account your own, your own self, rather than actually believing that it's rubbish. Yeah. Like, I'm still working on that one. Because <laughs> I, still, I still do scrub them out. <laughs> but on that, what I've learned on that is, which has been a wonderful, wonderful thing is that there's no such thing as wrong. I mm. tell you, so many paintings that I've done that I've started off with an idea of what they'll look like, get frustrated along the way, scrub them out, start again, scrub them out, start again, scrub them out, start again. And, and, Emma, and Emma's like, my wife, she's like, well, I, how could you possibly put yourself through that? But what always happens is that within what I think is the mistake turns out to be something beautiful about the painting always always like it was meant to be almost like that mistake was meant to be to have the painting that now i have that i love looking at or somebody else does and they might not even know about the mistakes there's one painting that looks nothing like a portrait but you can but emma's eye is looking out from the clouds but nobody else can see that because you would be so obscure you can see it, but i know it's there and it adds to that to me to the to the to the painting and so within life, that must be the same, mustn't it? And I can relate to that in life, that really in, in my journey in life to now, 41, what things have looked like mistakes have actually not been. They've been, they've been creative in themselves that have, yeah. that have, this is why I'm here. Yeah. Why I'm sitting here on this sofa talking to you, having, having a great time. <laughs> you know, it's, um, it brings a whole new perspective on. On, on, on mistake and um, what we set as our expectation. Yeah. 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 Incredible. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's a wonderful thing to, to see. That's why I just loved seeing that. Loved seeing that. Because well, that's almost like, it's like a breath of, that for me, that's a bit of a breath of fresh air or like a, like a weight off. Mm. you know like oh wow oh, i can relax a little bit you know <laughs> it's not so bad <laughs> you know Those, what i think is a mistake maybe isn't so bad wow you know great that that relationship that's not going so well oh you know maybe maybe it's you know it's part of the it's part of the way it's all supposed to be and you know, it's, yeah. not so bad. it's not so bad i'm doing my best <laughs> What a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yes, you wonder if everything should have happened the way it's happened, but then you think, well, you know, well, here we are now. Yeah. If it wasn't for this, then this conversation wouldn't be happening. Yeah, right. You know? And and I wouldn't listen to somebody that's just, you know, picked up a brush and said, right, I'm gonna paint and just seen that inspiration and, and felt that inspiration and think, yeah, well, I've been humming and admiring about this. Actually, yeah, damn it, you're right. So, yeah, even when you think something shouldn't happen, now it happened, um, yeah, probably should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so interesting. Isn't it fascinating? Mm, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Really is. Well, I've enjoyed this. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks to all. Thanks for everyone. Thanks, thanks so much for coming along and and um, it's been fantastic. Yeah, thank you, Paul. This was um, very insightful in so many ways for me. I, I I connected to so many things that you were saying. I'm not really sure people will when they may watch this as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. For everyone who um, can't join us live. And do you, do you want to say anything to wrap up or? No, no, it's been wonderful. Thank you so much for inviting me. Great. Oh. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, and just want to let everybody know that next um, webinar is on June 8th with Amy Chen Mill's name. So um, that's June 8th at noon Eastern time. And um, hopefully we will see you then and you'll enjoy, um, as I said this in the beginning of the um, webinar, I'll put Paul's information underneath the YouTube recording, along with um, different ways to, to check out his artwork and to contact him. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.